All right. Welcome back, everybody. More Phasmophobia. I want to play more of it. This game is fun as shit. You can't stop me. I'm going to keep doing it regardless. Also, uh, quick side note. Oh, yeah. I forgot. I played this again uh, off camera. That's what all these photos are from. Uh, so, quick side note. Uh, I looked over the comments of the last one. Uh, very helpful, actually. Uh, so it turns out I'm doing things stupid and wrong. So, I've since learned from the mistakes of my past, thanks to the comments that were left. Um, the level one shit is all bad. Like, intentional, I guess, on purpose to kind of be like, you know, you're just starting out and whatnot. Uh, and I am reading this completely wrong, and I had no idea how to use this. This does not scan for ghosts. This, in fact, just scans things that you believe a ghost has touched, and it leaves residual EMF readings on it. Uh, and since using that information, I have actually been a lot more successful, as you can see on level 8. Uh, I've unlocked the crucifix and the parabolic mic, which I do need to buy some crucifix. Um, but yeah, and then uh, there was other comment, like, uh, you know, the uh, one of them I liked, uh, there was two very helpful comments about the EMF thing, uh, and then one of the comments was, uh, you know, being like, hey, you know what, it's cool to be fucking scared as shit, I, you know, when I play this alone, I get scared too, it's more fun with friends, and they are correct, uh, as you can see, I went and played with Jack a little bit again, uh, and then the other comment was, uh, someone amused by my running from being scared shitless, which I, I, I agree, that is fucking hilarious, but you know what, it's also cowardice, and I am no coward, I am Billy Bob Badass McGee, I am here to reclaim my uh, my status as such. I'm here to to um, fucking clear my name and restore that which is upon me of being heroic and brave and such. So you know, no a coward no longer I shall be. We'll say that. Let's see, let's bring that. Let's bring. I want to bring more cameras. Just in case. Uh, let's bring... No, we don't need another book. I'm not going to need another EMF either. Uh, but we are going to bring two of these. And a mic, just in case. We're going to need a motion sensor photo camera. And yeah. So yeah. I'm going to be the bravest boy thou hast ever done thaw. I ain't... In, in the great words of... Uh, Ray Parker Jr. I ain't afraid of no ghost. So, that being said, we're gonna go somewhere like, um... Let's go to... Let's go to Edgefield Road. How about that? We'll go here. Prepare to be astounded by my feats of ingenuity and bravery as I enter this house and don't shit my pants and hide in the truck all day like a scared little bitch. We've arrived. Check the equipment and get set up before investigating. Megan Winter. Tell. Reports of light switching. Possibly harmless, but be careful out there. Okay, so, uh, I'm going to take a camera off the rip Gotta have a flashlight, and we will take the thermometer to check for temps. Alright, guys. Interesting. Temperature's 20 in here. It was just 15. Of course, it could have been a 
adjusting from the outside, I suppose. already open. Okay, it appears that the ghost is in that bathroom. Oh, he's getting active too, hold on. I heard something fall when I was in there too. I don't see anything right now. Oh, yeah, there, there you go, some flickering. Oh, I should have turned that light off. I can't tell if there's gonna be ghost orbs. Shit, okay, I need to get a dots projector up there, stat. Um. And, let's see, motion sensor is one of my things, so let's go ahead and bring that up there too. I didn't even think to check for the fucking uh, temperature, but I do need to go back up there and get a picture of that water. I don't want to say that. That's a ghost orb right there. And it triggered the motion sensor. But that's a no for dots. But and a yes for ghost orb. We've already got some good evidence then, good progress on the evidence so far. That's also a no on freezing temp. So it can either be a mare or an obake. Okay. Get the water picture. Let's move in the door. Just see it move the door. Okay. So between the mare and the obake, let's see. The mare, a mare is the source of all nightmares, making it more powerful in the dark. A mare will have an increased chance of attack in the dark. Uh, I would need a spirit box, which sucks because you can use those in the dark. Uh, the Obake needs EMF level 5. Terrifying shapeshifters capable of taking many forms. They've been seen taking on humanoid shapes to attract their prey. When interacting with the environment, they will rarely leave a trace. Well. Hmm. I'm not entirely sure.
Hmm. I don't. Yeah, I. It hasn't really touched anything. Other than the sink, and I think it's too late for me to EMF the sink. Hmm. I have a plan. That was not part of the plan. I did not mean to drop that. So, this thing, I need to get more, I need to get one more piece of evidence. I either need to have an EMF, or I need to have the spirit box. And I think it would be beneficial for me to go ahead and start pulling out some equipment. I don't think there's anything in there actually right now, other than the camera and the dots. Um, I have a free hand. I can take the dots with me. I just saw that door move, you little bastard. Hmm. Yeah. Well, the motion sensor's in there, too. Yeah, I do need that. You're an active little son of a bitch, aren't you? I surely hope that my, uh, Steam notification didn't just come through on the recording. I will have to check for that. Uh, he keeps going in and out of there. Interesting. Alright, well, uh, let's see. Let me take... Uh, Alright, so I'm going to go up in there. I'm going to pop this on the ground. And then I'll start EMFing and take the dots with me. I have a shit ton of cameras, so I don't really care about leaving that one behind, if need be. Okay, it spiked at about three, uh, which I've also been informed is not entirely reliable, thanks to the comments on the last video. So, there is a chance that that's... Oh yeah, we're upside down, because he threw my camera on the ground like an asshole. So, there is a chance that, you know, we could be wrong about the EMF. Uh, if I rule it out, it's a mare. If I don't, it's an obake. I don't want to take a 50-50 shot right now, because I was wrong in the last video I did. And that took, like, for fucking ever. So, uh, I'm going to go up there with the box. There should still be a crucifix up there when I get up there. And I will grab... I uh, left the motion sensor, and I left the camera. But both those things are expendable to me, as I have some good money, and a lot of them in spare and reserve, so... Shit, what was the name? Megan Winter. Okay. Oh. Megan Winter, are you there? Megan Winter, are you friendly?
Megan Winter that you just set off that motion sensor. Megan Winter, can you speak into the spirit box? Megan Winter, are you there? Megan Winter, are you there? Alright, so that was a no on the spirit box, I believe. So, uh, I'm gonna... Are you fucking kidding me? I do believe I'm gonna leave that camera behind. Um, I don't think going back up there is a good idea, because I think I might have pissed her off a little bit. Uh, and it is just the camera, so I'm not too worried about it. I'm gonna go with uh, no on the spirit box, meaning we have an Obake. Because that, that EMF reading could have been incorrect. I forget what the comment said specifically, but it did say that getting five may not even work. Like, it could be leaving level five traces, I think, and then that, that EMF reader just won't pick them up sometimes, so. Yeah. Oh, yeah, she's mad because she just dumb tossed that camera again. So with it being an Obake, um, interacting with the environment, they really have a trace. Sometimes they'll shapeshift leaving behind unique evidence. Yeah, I don't know about any of that, Chief, but uh, I know we're getting the fuck out of here. A Hantu? What? Excuse me? A Hantu? Okay, explain yourself. Let's see if you can defend the bullshit that just came out of spouting out of your mouth. Uh, where are you, Hantu? Ultraviolet, ghost orb, and freezing temps. Cool. So there was no freezing temperatures. It was above the fucking the threshold for freezing temps. Um, I never checked for ultraviolet, but I did see a ghost orb. But there were no freezing temperatures. I went in there and I, I literally fucking... See, this is what irritates me about this game, is it'll tell me the ghost was this thing, despite the fact that there was no evidence of that ghost existing. Hell, I played this game by myself one time. And the ghost was this fucking thing here, the ornery Oreo thing. This pissed off Oreo. The wrathful spirit. It steals souls from dying victims to seek revenge. So, this ghost is the kind of ghost that, according to this entry, it'll literally kill you. And then kill you again. It will kill you, steal your soul, turn it into an ectoplasmic lubricant to go butt fuck your mother. And... This thing never once did anything. I was sitting there for 30 minutes of real time. It never did. I went throughout the house. I was going through the bitch. I looked for evidence in every room of the starter house. Never found a shred of evidence. Never saw it do anything with my own eyes. Never saw it do anything on the cameras. It never opened any doors. It never touched any light switches. It never did a single damn thing. But it was this one, which is supposed to be one of the more aggressive species of species of ghosts. Like, no. No, if you're gonna have a ghost type be labeled aggressive, like the demon, that bitch better be actually acting as it should be. That was horse shit. There was no freezing temperatures in that house. It was hovering right above it when I went back up there. Unless somebody's gonna come in the comment section and tell me that you also can't rely on the starter thermometer, and if that's the fucking case, how the fuck do you progress in this game if you can't rely on any of this starter equipment? I mean, it doesn't make any fucking sense. Alright. It's fine. It's fine. Why does it always pop this up? I, I don't care. I never want to look at that. Bring that. 
bring... Oh! Oh yeah, and because it was a video camera, that's starting gear, so I, I just... Yeah, I just got to keep it. <laughs> okay, cool. Um... Honestly, I don't know. I, 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 these newer, these older houses, you know, the starter houses, I'm probably not going to need that many of those. Um, but give me these. Give me this, just in case. And these. Okay. We're going to go to the starter house again. Because I do, I, do, I do like this location. And it's a little easier to move maneuver around in. Um, for the sake of these videos. Eventually, I'll do bigger areas, different areas. Uh, I do have plans right, to. Take a look at the equipment and I'll just wait till this asshole's done talking. I've got nothing else to report, unfortunately. Nothing else to report, huh? Interesting. I do have plans to get uh, my boy Jack in here in the future. Uh, you know, he did. He has been. He got me the game. He's been helping me with the game. So Jack's gonna be in one of these videos in a minute. So we'll probably do the bigger maps because he has access to those. So I need to get the motion sensor up, I need to find stuff with the EMF reader, and then escape the hunt if it happens. Uh, response to people who are alone. Okay. Take this camera. Take this thermometer. That apparently is not good. And it's... Oh, I didn't take the flashlight. Shit. I got an eye vision. It'll be fine. For the time being. I think the ghost is just in that hallway. How's that camera angle look? Uh, yeah, it's not bad. Okay. But yeah, I think it's just in that hallway because it was turning the light off in that room. But when I went in the room, it was okay. Also, we're going to take this to get a picture of the fucking actual r human rib cage that's there. And this to see if we can get a picture of our an, you know, UV reading. I'll put this up for right now, and I'll set one of these up because I do need that one, don't I? Yeah. Oh, you know what? That'd be fine.
I'm not sure if it attacked the power or if the power just went out. Hmm. Okay. Yo, I just seen it throw that thing. Okay, I saw it throw that. There's a ghost orb right there. Alright. Ghost orbs are a go. Uh, I do need to set up one of these in there. I should go look at that photo. That just got thrown. Uh, I'm going to put this back up for right now. Yeah, it's still, uh, that was pretty fresh, and uh, it still didn't throw anything up. That thing just keeps on moving. Just keeps on moving through there. I see the ghost orb. Oh, I saw it. I saw it walking. Full body apparition, just walking through the dots right there, too. Not just a part of the body, the whole fucking body. Alright, so... We still got a few uh, options here. Okay, let's see. Um, I I don't really know what more to look for here at the time. Uh, let's see. We it could be a, any of these things. Let's see. What is a banshee? So the banshee, singing siren, known for attracting his victims through songs, but known to sing loud its prey before making a killing blow. Um, ultraviolet would be the last thing I need for it. Which I didn't see any to begin with, but, you know, we did just start. Um, could also be a Yori, which the Yori is a ghost that has returned to the physical world usually for the purposes of revenge or hatred. They've been known to have a stronger effect on sanity. Uh, smudging the place of death will trap it temporarily, uh, which it needs freezing temps, which I don't believe we ended up actually getting the freezing temps. I'll have to go back in there and look. Um, but it, it definitely is in the hallway, because it, it just keeps going around there. So, I will have to check the, ter the thermometer and see, uh, if we can rule out the Yuri. Uh, Raiju, it did go, it, the power did get knocked out, but it requires EMF5, so I'm a little skeptical on that one. Um, and then the last one's the Thay, which, um... I would need writing for. And I know I've seen Thay before. And the Thay the Thay uh they actually will look. You know, you could see that that ghost right there. They look old, like they look elderly, kinda like they've aged rapidly. Um or if you see them in a ghost event, they also look like that. That dude's got an axe. I just saw that. On the apparition, on the dots, that, that thing's got an axe. Hmm. Well, uh, let's see. You just keep on setting that off, don't you? I'm wondering why sometimes he goes through there and he's not on the dots. And other times he goes through there and he is on the dots. A 
Well, I'm going to take one of these. If I can hit the right button. Uh, I'm going to put this back up, because... Fuck him. Uh, okay, what do I have in that house right now? I have the thermometers in there, the cameras in there, and the dot projectors in there. Yeah, that's the thermometer. That's this flashlight. Camera, dot projector. Those are the only things that I have, other than the motion sensor, in the house right now. Uh, the motion sensor I'll definitely want to grab. The rest of that stuff I could probably just leave, because it's starting gear. So, uh, I'll get it back. He is angry about something. Look at him, he's mad as shit. So I'm definitely going to want to pop this crucifix down in there. Otherwise his ass is going to start hunting me. Uh, I haven't found any 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 evidence of the EMF reader. Uh, it would be nice to find some. Unfortunately, he's not really <clears throat> doing a lot other than just walking back and forth from what I can see. Alright, so we're going to walk in there. We're going to look at the thermometer. I would like to wait for his uh, his activity to die down a little bit. That way I can pop a crucifix without it immediately being used. Because I feel like the moment I walk in that house, he's going to come right at me. I don't think it's that Yuri one. I think that was the one that drains your sanity faster. He just doesn't stop. Look, he's just going on. Popping off. Bruh. I'm trying to go up in there and, and check some stuff, my guy. I need you to calm the fuck down. I mean, really, guy? This is ridiculous at this point, my, my dude. Oh, shit, you threw my camera. You asshole. It looks like he threw everything off that, that little table. Which means he probably threw my thermometer, too. Jackass. Okay. No to the freezing temp. Okay. I don't know what the fuck I just detected there. It might have actually been him I detected. If that is a thing I can do with this thing. It it jumped pretty high. And it did count. Yeah, so... I mean, it, it counted and it, it jumped up high. I don't know how high it jumped, but it did jump. It, assuming it is EMF level 5, it's a Raiju. I don't believe it was a level 5. I could be wrong. But... I know for a fact we've got dots and ghost orbs. No freezing temperatures. The thermometer was above the zero, right above it. You all saw it, a hundred percent. So, <sighs> see. So, I will place this book in there, just as a, just in case. I don't know if he'll do it with me standing here. He just 
keeps on going in and out of there. Alright. Uh, well, while I'm going to wait, I don't know if he'll do it while I'm standing there watching. I also don't know if it counts for me doing that. Let's just have a little fun with this real quick. Ooh, I saw that. No, he rocked like right into me. Uh-uh, I saw that on the dots. Oh, no. I ain't doing that, fam. I ain't doing that, fam. Alright, uh... Well, is, the only thing there is to have escaped during a ghost event, which... Oh, no, it's a ghost hunt. Escape a ghost hunt, not escape a ghost event, dumbass. Uh... Let's see. Banshee is spirit box, ain't it? No, ultraviolet for a banshee. Okay. Well, he's definitely thrown around a lot of shit. Surprise, it's not a poltergeist. Um. I guess I'll take. Let's see. Yeah, I'm gonna need an empty hand. I'll keep this on, and we'll see what we can do with it. Nothing in the book, so no ghost riding. Okay, so it could be a yokai, a banshee, or a raiju. I need ultraviolet, EMF. What does yokai need? Yokai requires the spirit box. I'm gonna get the ultraviolet again. We'll see what we can find out with that. Cause he's throwing around a lot of shit, and I don't know. I just feel like if he, with all that, there's shit. Cause I, nothing is giving me EMS, and I, I mean, I just, I don't know. have it folks ultraviolet light so we have ourselves a banshee which is strange I haven't heard this thing singing any or screaming uh, it says they'll weaken their target before striking so sometimes can be heard screaming with the parabolic microphone I should have looked at that earlier I could have literally just sat here and had that completely figured out Ten minutes ago, but hey, it's fine, whatever. It probably would have been, you know, I don't know. It might not have been right now. Now watch this thing be, like, not even a fucking banshee. Watch it be some other completely arbitrary horse shit. Watch it be, like, a demon. Or watch it be, like, a fucking, uh, the, or the fucking Ori Ornio again. What's the most aggressive thing? Revenant. It could be a fucking demon. It could be an Oni. Watch it be one of those things. Alright, anyway. Uh... I'm missing my book, my dot, my camera. What, what, what is what is this? What is that? Camera dot. I don't remember what goes there. Uh, I need to get the camera and the dots. Motion sensor's in there, but it goes over here. Oh, that's the book. Oh my god, I'm fucking stupid. Okay. Let me get my flashlight. I 
saw you. Honestly, though, all that stuff can be replaced except this, so. Yeah, all the rest of that stuff, except for the motion sensor, is starting gear. So, yeah, I really don't care. I would have actually, like, been super pissed off if I picked up this crucifix and the moment I did that to go pick up the motion sensor, he started attacking me. Oh, I would have been so mad. Yeah, the rest of that stuff will respawn, so it's fine. Alright, well, we got Banshee circled, right? Yep, alright, let's roll. I would have picked it up screaming, but knowing my luck, at the moment I went to risk that shit, it would have just have killed me. Oh, man. Welcome back. There's some jobs ready for you. We got ourselves a Banshee. Hell yeah. We did it. Level 9, baby, let's go. We got salt. Let's go. So what I understand, you put salt piles down, and when the ghost walks through it, they'll leave uh, ultraviolet footsteps. Which could help out a lot in cases, um, cases like this one where I was looking for ultraviolet and I could never find it because he wasn't doing anything until he started opening doors and shit. So... So yeah, that's awesome, hell yeah. Um, but yeah, I think that will about do us for this one, guys, because I've been here for quite a while. Uh, but we got two hunts in this time, because see, I'm not afraid no more. I no longer a coward am I. I ain't afraid of no ghosts. So um, yeah, I, I will play another one of these in the future with Jack, hopefully, and because uh, this game's really fun. And we will be the best damn ghost hunters you've ever seen in your life, and hopefully by then I'll be leveled up enough where we can uh, either bump up the difficulty, or unlock some new gear, this, that, and the other. Uh, but yeah, until then, uh, hopefully I'll see you guys in the next one.